I am working here as finance manager. I want to say that you are doing Allah's work and spend your whole life in Allah's cause. May Allah bless you with happiness and good health. Amen. Question one. My question is to you is that the last month is that in the last month one of my relatives died and he's a Muslim but a non-practicing Muslim. That means he believes in Allah and his Rasul but he did not offer Salah. He did not keep the fast. And I came to know that some of my other relatives didn't, did not attend his funeral saying he was a kafir and we cannot attend his funeral by namaz e janaza etc. I want to know your thoughts on this matter. Attending the funeral of non-practicing Muslim is sin or not? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran in Surah Tawbah chapter number 9 verse 113 that it is not befitting for a prophet of Allah or the believers to pray for the non-Muslims even though they may be the relatives after it is confirmed that they will be going to the hellfire forever and this verse of the Quran refers to that a Muslim even a prophet cannot pray for his relatives whether father or mother or parents if they have died as a mushrik and the next verse continues Surah Tawbah chapter 9 verse 114 that Abraham salam had made a promise that they'll pray for the fathers and he did pray for the father but when he came to know it is not permitted to pray for a father who died as a mushrik so he did not do it he prayed when he came to know it is wrong that means based on this verse of the Quran a Muslim cannot pray for a non-Muslim who has died as a non-Muslim when he's alive you can pray for his hidayah, you can say may Allah give him hidayah, you can guide him no problem but you cannot pray for a non-Muslim who has died as a mushrik, knowing very well they will go to hellfire. Now coming to your question, that someone from your relative had died, he believed in Allah and his Rasul but was not a practicing Muslim, he did not offer salah, did not fast. So many of the relatives said we cannot attend the funeral of this Muslim who was not a practicing Muslim. What is the ruling? The Prophet peace be upon him, yes, he prohibited from, from praying for the non-Muslims who have died as non-Muslims. But never did he prohibit praying on the janaza of a Muslim who was a non-practicing Muslim. In fact, the Prophet said, there's a hadith which says that this person he used to rob from the war booty. Imagine, robbing from a war booty is a great sin. The Prophet said, you pray for him. He used to rob from the war booty, he is a Muslim. But he believed in Allah and his Rasul. He did major sin, but the Prophet said, pray for him. We learn from this, that means a person who was not a pious Muslim, all the more reason requires to be prayed for. And it is for the kafaya that if a Muslim dies, someone at least should go for his janaza. If they don't go, it will be a sin on all the Muslims that are close to him. It's a farid kafaya. But what scholars say, that if a person who has been doing several major sins it is advisable that the scholars and the pious people don't attend the funeral it's not haram it is advisable that the dies and the scholars they don't this is, this is the scholarly view but the right ruling is that if a muslim as long as he believed in allah and his rasul even though he was not practicing it is permitted if no one goes, it's a sin on you. It's a farde kifaya. You have to go. So you cannot say that it is wrong to go. You have to go. So as far as your relative was not a practicing Muslim, he died. You can very well go. It's a farde kifaya. If no one goes, all would be doing a sin.